Hey, everybody, let me introduce you to someone, an Oakland native who is back home playing at the Oakland Coliseum. Everybody, this is Nico Horner. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's good to be back. And thanks for doing this interview with us. Of course. Yeah. Now, when you sit in this dugout, you probably have some fond memories of the Coliseum. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I grew up in, in Oakland, um, Lakeshore area around Lake Merritt, and the Coliseum is uh, definitely was my introduction to Major League Baseball, seeing teams come through and watching a lot of good A's teams here growing up. Now, who was your favorite player at that time? Uh, I liked Eric Chavez and Miguel Tejada a lot when I was younger, and then you know watching Donaldson and that group when I was in high school was a, was a good time too, for sure. I like to say I've seen this young man from Little League to the Big League. So you come through all the ranks here in Oakland playing Little League. Yeah. Tell me about that experience, and did that kind of shape who you are today? Yeah, I mean, playing Oakland Bay Bruce growing up, um, playing at Greenman Field, which is about, you know, half a mile, a couple blocks that way. You can see the stadium in the background when you play on the fields there. And, um, you know, amazing relationships, a lot of great people that um, helped me out. And those days are going to be here tonight. Um, Eric Clayton, who coached at Oakland Tech, and um, a lot of other really great coaches that impacted my career. So um, just really grateful for, for all of them. And so many people are a part of a, of a career like, like this and just awesome to share with them. Well, you know, I looked at the scoreboard last night and I saw in the leadoff spot, Horner. <laughs> and I'm thinking Ricky Henderson, Gary Pettis, and so many other guys who come out of this town, yep. and now you're that guy. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, man, hopefully work on that leadoff spot starting out this year. And we haven't had a leadoff that was uh, consistent for several years now, so nice to be able to, to do that for a little bit. You know, a lot of the fields I grew up playing on were Ricky Henderson Field and things like that. So if I can be uh, half of what he was as a leadoff hitter, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> well, you, you're on your way. We're going to have a Nico Horner Field someday here in Oakland. Now, the way you play, you play aggressive. You got a little speed. I didn't know you were that fast. <laughs> new, new rules are helping out, I think, a little <laughs> bit, a little bigger bases, less pickoffs. But, um, yeah, it's any way anyway, you can impact the game. It's cool seeing baseball in general this year, a little more speed being used. And there's a lot of athleticism in the game right now, and it's I think the the way the game's being emphasized right now allows that to be shown a little more. Yeah. And you know, right now a lot of people are seeing you here and they're saying, wow, man, he made it to the big leagues. Now, I'm sure there were some challenges along the way that you've overcome. And for some young players out there who may be going through that, what yeah. kind of advice could you give them? Yeah, I mean, for me, I'd say my biggest obstacle has, has been health. I mean, I've had missed a lot of time in my first couple of years in professional baseball. And, um, you know, you end up doing rehab in the summer and you're alone at the facility and not a whole lot going on. And um, just kind of keeping that, that process mindset, getting better every day. Um, controlling what you can and really relying on, on people around you, making relationships along the way because it, it's, a, it's, it's a tough sport if you're doing it alone. So we've got a good thing going right now as a group, and I think that's why we're having some success and having fun doing it. Yeah, you talk about the process. A lot of guys, they kind of get ahead of themselves where they forget about today. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of your mindset where I worry about today and we won't worry about tomorrow until we get there? Yeah, when things are going well, that's how, how it feels for sure. I obviously want to be where my feet are and uh, where my feet are right now is a, is a pretty special place. That's where I grew up and just taking these days in, enjoying it, looking up and seeing friends in the crowd, throwing them a ball after the inning when you come <laughs> off the field. I was uh, giving one of them a hard time yesterday. He dropped one of the balls I threw to him. So oh, that was, come on. <laughs> but, no, you got to enjoy those small things. We get yeah. to do play baseball every day for a living. It's an incredible thing. And, and you know, you can get caught up in this and that with stats and winning and losing and uh, the course of a season, obviously. But to, to enjoy each day as best you can. And uh, we've got a group of guys that I really enjoy being around that makes that a lot easier. And uh, I love doing it. You guys come out last night, you get 20 hits. Yeah. I mean, is this how you want to come out and just spank the team that you used to root for? We had a, we had a good time last <laughs> night, man. New, new day today. Obviously, we know baseball is different every single day, so that's why it's so great, too. But, um, you know, it was, was fun to come out swinging yesterday. Yeah, it, it really was to watch. And I just stopped everything I was doing every time you came up to the plate because, you know, this is an Oakland guy. I'm an Oakland guy, too, and so we claim him. This is our guy. Even though he's in Chicago, 
How do you like playing out there in Chicago? I, I love Chicago. I mean, being in Chicago in the summer is about as good as it gets. Uh, it's a city that's very passionate about their sports teams, and um, you know we're lucky to play in front of an amazing fan base. Um, I feel like I kind of have have two homes right now, both the Bay Area and, and Chicago. So um, lucky to be comfortable in multiple spots, and you know, but I'll always be be connected here. My mom still lives here, and come back every off season, obviously, and so uh, yeah, so I'll always be home. Well, you know what, Nico? We just want to thank you for taking some time out to talk to us again. An Oakland guy, we want to make sure everybody out there knows he's here in town. Come on out, support him, because he's out here playing a great ball game right now. I enjoy watching. I'm going to be watching you tonight. Good luck to you. Thank you. And good luck the rest of the yeah, season. Yeah, I appreciate you.